Ooh. Ooh. Wow, those look small. I don't know. Whatever, let's try them on. Avert your eyes. I'm just warming up. I'm almost ready. Turn it up a bit more and have fun. Check me out, though. Look. What's going on everybody? Welcome to one of my strength workouts, one of many. I wanted to go into a little bit more detail than I normally do with these workouts so you guys know exactly what's going on. So the program I'm on is an auto-regulated program, auto-regulation. So auto-regulation, what that means is that the program you run is automatically adjusted based on how you feel in the gym for that particular day. So there are no set number of sets. You're given a bunch of exercises to hit for the day. You have a rep target to hit for each exercise. And then you're given a fatigue level to reach for each particular exercise using the RPE scale. And the RPE scale stands for Rating of Perceived Exertion. And it's a one through 10 scale. And you're given a number. It can be 10, 9.5, 8.5, 8, 7. And they all mean a certain fatigue level. They all represent a certain fatigue level. And so number 10 means that you are at complete failure. You could not do one more rep. You could not do one more set. 9.5 means you can't do another rep, but maybe you could do another set. Nine means you leave one rep left in the tank, which means let's say you're doing squats and your rep target is eight reps, you would find your nine rep max, but only complete eight reps. So you have that one rep left in the tank. So today, starting off my strength workout, we hit back squats and the rep target was three reps and I needed to reach an RPE nine. So I needed to find my four rep max for that day so it can change. That's what auto-regulation is all about. It's how you feel for that day. So in this case, I picked 385 pounds and I did three reps and I probably could have done a fourth rep, but you stop at three. Then we back down 5% and then we do as many sets until we reach an RPE of 9.5. So today in this case, I back down the weight 5% which equals to 365 pounds. And I was able to do two sets and that and that that second back offset was an RPE 9.5. If that second set would have been an RPE 9 where yeah, I probably could have done another rep, then I would have completed another set. But since that second back offset, I felt like I couldn't do another rep, I stopped there. So, it was a total of three sets. So I hit 385 pounds for three reps, and I backed down 5%, and I hit two sets of 365. And because this is auto-regulated, this changes. So some days you might hit 
three back offsets. Some days you might hit only one back offset, and some days you might hit five back offsets. It all depends on how you feel for that particular day. Then we moved on to the bench press. I hit 275 for three reps at an RPE of nine. And usually I hit 285 for three reps, but since I'm dieting, my bench press, any pressing movement has, has dropped a little bit. And so I had to manage with 275 for three reps. And then after that, we backed it down to seven, backed it back down 7% and I was able to hit three back offsets to reach an RPE of 9.5. And so that was a total of four sets for the bench press. Then after the bench, we moved on to the deadlift and I actually hit a PR for my body weight. For my body weight, I hit 510 pounds for three reps at an RPE of nine. And then we backed it down 5% and I hit only one more back offset with 485 pounds for three reps, and that was for an RP of 9.5. So I only did one back offset, and that's okay. I just, I couldn't handle more volume than that today, and so we cut it there, and, and that's, that's it for deadlifts. Then we moved on to a seal row, and our target rep range or our target rep for the seal row is 10 reps and we need to reach an RPE of nine. And so I picked eight, 85 pounds and I was able to hit 10 reps with 85 pounds. Then we backed down 7% and we had to reach an RPE of 9.5 and that second set with 80 pound dumbbells, um, I did 10 reps and I was, I was not able to do another rep or, or I, f I felt like I couldn't do another rep so I cut it there and I did not do another back off set. So I only did a total of two sets for seal rows and that was it. Then we moved on to cable curls. I did 67 and a half pounds for 10 reps at an RPE of 9 so I felt like I could have done another rep. Um, but I stopped at 10 reps and we backed it down to 5% and we had to hit an RPE of 8.5. So we had to stop when we, f when, when I felt like I'm recording here, you just f***ed up. That's okay. Sorry, I gotta write Whatever. Something. I should have knocked. Sorry. I gotta write something down. Fuck, you're, you're, you're wasting precious memory. You're wasting audio here. I don't want to forget this. When it comes into my mind, I have to write it down. All right, good night. What are you trying to remember? That that, that Schwarber struck out? Is that, is that what you're trying to remember? Oh, my God. That's the, the worst part, because his fielding was insanely bad. Everything he did looked like it was in slow motion. Anyway, sorry about that. Where was I? After the cable curl... Moved on to the one arm kettlebell extension and I hit 40 pounds for eight reps at an RPE of 10. So absolute failure on these. And then we backed down 10% and did as many sets as we could until we hit another RPE of 10. So a lot of volume here. Today I was able to do four sets, four total sets. Um, everything was an RPE of 10, so absolute failure with the one arm kettlebell extensions. Then after that we, we moved on to the lateral raises. And you can do these with a cable, a dumbbell, a 25-35 pound plate, whatever you guys want. And I was able to do 27 and a half pounds for 12 reps at an RPE of 9. And then we back it down 7% and we do back offsets until we hit an RP of 10. And that's the workout, that's it. Um, it's a strength workout, so we're taking a lot of time in between sets to recover. Um, we're not taking one to three minutes. You go until you feel like you're, you're ready and recover to hit all your reps for that next set. That is when you should complete your next set. And, and you shouldn't restrict yourself to a time limit when doing these 
total body strength workouts. Um, so even though it's it's not a lot of exercises, it takes a long time. I think this workout took me um, a little over three hours, and that's pretty typical for, for this workout for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped a little bit. If it did, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps a lot, and I'm looking forward to showing you guys the next video. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.